Hi everyone and welcome to this video and we'll be continuing our surveys on data descriptors and algorithms course and in this video we're going to talk about a recursion little bit and advanced things like recursion with strings then we will focus on merge sort sort sorting algorithm with a recursion and then quick sort algorithm with a recursion and then some of the more problem and then we'll drum dramatically go on to the more linked list or data structures and backtracking as the syllabus has been um, say means the has been reprepared the backtracking will be given at the last because backtracking is almost kind of a advanced topic so I, I don't want to make it in front of you if you're a beginner so that's why I had given it a last okay so if you are new to this the link all the syllabus in the description on box below you can go there and check out the syllabus but again I'm saying backtracking is in the last of the syllabus okay by default it is given dash recursion with recursion okay so first of all we'll focus on a uh, day some of the basics and then we'll eventually go on advanced concept okay so in this video what we're going to do is that I will make you familiar with how we can use recursion with the strings with, a, with, with the help of one problem the problem is let's say the problem the, the name of the problem the name problem is remove X okay so what does it mean let's say we are given an input let's say we are given an atom a string as an input let's say a b x c x okay and then d x okay so we are given this input okay so let let me write ip as denoting as input and you have to return where you have to remove all the x and you have to return the following uh, a b c d you, you you only have to remove the x okay so you have to remove the x's okay so this is your problem statement now i i can ask you to pause this video and try to do by yourself and using a recursion okay so first of all we will build logic and then i will ask you again to pause this video and try this by your own okay so using recursion so let's let's start off with a certain uh, logic how how we can build the law lo logic for the same so first of all let's focus on the base case so there are three steps in recursion like the base case then you have to pre-processing a step and then uh, writing some code like that so what i'm going to say that a recursion is i think a very good kind of technique to solve a particular problem we have to solve one instance of problem and the rest of the instance of problem will be solved by the recursion okay so let's say let, let's first talk about a base case so let's say we are given in this uh, input so let's say we are given an input a b x c d x okay and what is the simplest thing what is the simplest base case where the where where we know so the simplest base case um, it, it can be that the that the empty the length of the array the length of the string is equal equals to zero the length of the string is equal equals to zero it seems it simply means that if uh, if if you get an empty empty string then it then it does not contain even x it only contains empty empty string so the simplest case is we if the string if the string is an empty okay so we will return the particular string means empty string to them okay now what, let's say in recursion we are we are given an uh, length the, we are we are given a string of length n okay so we are given a string of length n and then how do we let, how do we divide into smaller instance so let's take in one one more example a b x c d x so this is our of length n so if we if we saw what we'll do we will divide this string into n minus one means n to n minus one means bigger problem to smaller problem okay so what we'll do we will check only this first element n minus one only first element if it is x if it is then we will then then we'll discard it otherwise if it is not x then we will put this into a variable called answer equals to 
the a okay so if it is not x otherwise we'll discard this we'll we will never store x there okay and these solve n minus 1 will solve by the recursion will be solved by the recursion i'm challenging you it will be solved just we'll do the dry run and then you will understand the power of recursion okay so this will be solved by recursion so we have to only take tension of this one a okay so only we have to take a stress of this first and and it is very simple to check it out okay so what what we have built the logic the base case if the str if the string length is zero then then we'll return uh, the, uh, the string otherwise we will make a string means variable a variable as a string and then we will make an empty string okay and then we will check if the first element of that particular string is x or not if it is x then we'll discard it we'll do nothing and if it is x then we will put if it is not x then we'll put the particular let's say a on into that variable okay so this is our proper uh, logic so let's code it and then we'll dry run and then you will understand the more things more in a better way okay so here is my eclipse here is my eclipse yeah so here is my eclipse and um, i have made already a uh, class which is a remove x okay so what i will do i will make a function which is a remove x function so again it will be returning the string so the returning type would be the string okay so it would be string and then the name of the this uh, string would be remove x let's say um uh, and string oops string str okay so it will take a string as an input okay and again if, if you're from other programming language like a python c c plus plus again the same logic works again this little bit of uh, code difference um, you can take a look at you you can manage that because you are at that point that you can manage okay so let's first try the base case so if uh, the this the length of the string the length of the string is equal equals to zero then we'll return then we'll return the particular string okay so we'll do nothing okay because it already because it it, uh, it is it, it has only a empty string so we don't have to worry about that and for one one more point that we will we will make a variable which is a string answer or empty string okay an empty string and then we will check we will, i have said you know we will only care for the first element and the rest of the string element will be solved by recursion okay so we will string car at zero you if, if you're from other programming language i i think in python you can do with the indexing or it it, it it may have i i i am not remembering that function name but in java means the character at the zero the index if it if it is not equals to x if it is not equals to x means if it is equals to x we'll do nothing but if it is not equals to x then we will then we will add this particular element whatever the element is into the answer okay plus str dot car at zero from the zero then this we'll add that particular thing okay and then we'll make a um, small answer so a string small answer so which is the n minus one which i have said said you know of leaving the first element we'll focus on the rest of the elements okay so we'll call our remove x remove x okay we'll call it dot substring means it will start from first index it will not start from zeroth index it will start from first index okay so str sub string let me write sub string it will start from one okay and then at last we will add the answer and the small answer to them okay so what i will return return the answer plus the small answer okay okay so this is how all it works oops it should be small okay 
So let's run this. We'll, we'll do do the dry run and then you will unchain it. Let it move into it away. So first, so first of all, let's focus on. Uh, let, let's let's run this and then I will I'll make you unchain it. Let's let a bit more into it away. Okay. So you, I think you all are able to see this. Okay. Okay. So let's let me make a string str. Um, I'm not going to make x b c x z c okay so what what is the expected output the expected output is so the expected output would be c b d c okay so the expected output is c b d c and if we print this out that print ln and I will print str remove x remove we'll call our function remove x onto str and then we'll save this particular thing and then I will run this let me make you familiar okay so it's a cbdc so let's take a look actually how it is working so I will take a smaller number and then I will make you understand okay okay so let's say we have an input we have uh, we are, let's say this is this is our input we are we have given to our function which is x b x a okay so this is our input okay so first of all we'll take a look at a base case again this it is not an empty string so what it will do it will check for the first element it will check for the first element again it is x it is x so it is not equals it is equals to equals to x so we will we, the string will be empty here okay because nothing it is equal equals to x so we will not put this x into the our variable or string variable answer okay then then it will go n minus one it this this and in that again it will call the same function now this will be and this will be checked so now we have a b x a now you here here you can see that this is equals to x no this is not equals to x if it is not equals to x we will store this b into an answer okay and then now we will now the now we will again call the function now now we have an x a now we have an x a now it will check the first element again you can see here how where where, where it is checking it is checking here when the caret zero equal equals to x because we are calling the same function we are calling the same function okay so it is doing the same thing times and times okay so in here uh, we have x and a again you can see the, there will be empty string okay because it is it is equal equals to x so we don't want that and then it will go on to a and you can see here that a is not equals to x so it will store a into the answer okay now we have an empty string this is our empty string and then this is our base case this is our base case where our the length of the string is equal equals to zero okay so there here the length of the string is equal equals to zero then it will now now we got the answer now we will add this up into this a plus the empty string because here you can see this is adding answer plus a small answer okay so now we have added now we have a, a now this will give to this and then again it will add this empty string plus a then it will be a and again this one a, a plus b a b and a it will be something like that and then the empty string so at last it will give me a b and a okay so a very quick dry run i have not gone into detail one is waiting for another to be answered and another is waiting for another to be answered until and unless we are reaching to the base case this is the very good principle for me to define the recursion okay so till now we had done a lot of things and it it, it might be that you got better intuition in um uh, all a remove x function and maybe you will go get some of the questions the notes will be in the description down box below so here is my notes and the notes are prepared prepared so i recommend you to watch the notes after seeing this video and you will be understanding in more intuitive way okay all the, all the logics are already being written there okay 
okay so the source code will not be given to you because um, it will be uploaded on github maybe and may not i i am not going to upload in, in github because in github i am going to i'm, I'm doing some something else so I'm, I'm not going to upload in github but uh, you have to just code it by by yourself it is just a demo okay so that's it for this video i'll be catching up in the next video do subscribe to this youtube channel not press the notification bell and I will catch you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.